So good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This is the seventh episode of the Yes to Consciousness series. And we have hopefully an interesting topic for today, which is about judgment. Like once upon a time, judgment was a form or a so source of consciousness. And what do we mean by that? Um, Maybe we could say that not just once upon a time, but I would say until now, like most of the families are using that, that, and most of the people are using that, that if they would like to help you to see yourself because they think you don't see what you are doing, therefore they have to tell you their judgments, <laughs> you know. Um, so judgment is a form of kindness, like it's an act of kindness from that sense. They kindly judge you or they tell you what is their judgment or they tell you what are other people's judgment on you. Or if you do this or that, what? how would others judge you? And everywhere we both into, because we, we born into this reality or we We've been uh, parented or educated this way of uh, sort of like um, being targeted by judgments of everyone and, you know, not making them wrong because I'm pretty sure that uh, the previous you know, hundreds or thousands of generations were parented this way. But what would it take to sort of like get rid of this from the surface of the planet? What would it take to let go of all forms of judgment? I mean, of course, um, what would life be like without judgment? Like, would it be fun if, if there were no judgment? Maybe this is a question or maybe this is a poetic question. <laughs> so what would your life be like if there were no judgment on our planet? Or what would your life be like if you, yeah, if judgment had no effect on you? So everywhere where we made ourselves as an as the effect of judgment, or the victim of judgment, or someone who needs to judge others, like how many of us has so, so, such a job that is uh, has this purpose to judge others or judge a situation? So what have we decided about the use of judgment, the necessity of judgment, and, uh, and that in this reality, judgment is, uh, it has to be part of this reality. So what have we decided about this? And every, everything of that, let's destroy and uncreate, eliminate and eradicate and return back to the source with consciousness attached. So, Allow yourself to connect to the whole universe as who you are today. Um, maybe you start to judge yourself like, who am I today? How could I really connect to the whole universe? But um, I would like to invite you to a space where you don't have to judge yourself. So imagine that you don't have to be anyone. You don't have to have a title. You don't have to have like being entitled to do this, you just simply have the capacity to be present with the whole universe, like be in communion with the whole universe. Oh, but I'm small, you might say. What if it's not about your size? What if it's not about what you have achieved so far or what have you studied so far or who are you or which country you are coming from or how much money you have or how many degrees you have or how many like spiritual schools you attended so far. It just simply part of the infinite being that who you are, that you have a capacity to be in communion with the whole universe. And you don't even have to do anything for this. Of course, maybe you need to let yourself to be in communion Maybe you need to give up judging you, but you know we are so good at judging ourselves because we were entrained into this. But maybe this is a judgment as well that 
we can't stop judging ourselves because we're born into judgment. It's like born in sin. <laughs> no, born in judgment. So allow yourself to be who you are. And it may mean nothing to any of us. But what if it doesn't have to mean anything and you just simply can be present with the whole universe? What if, if you don't feel or sense or you don't see anything changing around you, it doesn't mean you are not doing it or you are not being that. So you can choose to be fully present and in communion with the whole universe and allow yourself to have access to all the energies, all the vibration and all the information in this expanded space. Like you can let yourself keep expanding even beyond and beyond and beyond the edges of the universe in all directions. And as you keep expanding, it's like not your body is expanding, it's, it's your presence, it's your being. It's like allowing you to function as the infinite being that you truly be. What if it doesn't have to have any form or any structure of how this shows up for you? It simply just shows up. What if it doesn't have to have a feeling? Oh, now I'm in communion. I feel different. I look different since I'm in communion. What if it can just be what it is? So allow yourself to to be who you truly be. You know, if, if you can't sense it or if you can't feel it, it's, you are not wrong and it's not fake. Okay. And you can ask for all the contribution of the whole universe and send that contribution to everyone and everything on the planet that has any elements of judgment. We can send it to the financial systems. We can send it to the governments. We can send it to the education system. So just allow yourself to receive and forward all the contribution in, in any form it comes. You can forward it to your parents, to your children, to your partner, to your brothers and sisters, to your whole family. So just keep sending to all of them contribution. Allow everyone to receive contribution. Like what is the contribution that people would require to, first of all, to be clear on what is judgment and what is judging each other and what does it create when we judge each other? And also, what other choices they could make, like what they could choose, what else they could choose, what else they could create, if everyone on the planet starts to recognize what it is. What is the other reality, the totally different reality that we all could create if, if we would finally recognize what is judgment and what do we do when we judge ourselves and others and when we teach people to judge each other. And of course, it's nice to see what it is, but what else can we choose? So what is the lack of judgment? Like, would you allow your whole reality, all the different elements of your reality, anywhere where you ever had judgment, to let go of judgment and all the effects of being judged or being judge judgmental ever? Like everywhere in your universe and everywhere in your body, anytime when you've been judgmental, just allow yourself to let go of all forms of judgment.
And as you are in communion, just allow all the different forms of contribution to do this for you. To make you more aware of it and through you, everyone else. And actually it doesn't have to go through you. Where have we decided that we have to be the source of other people's reality? But actually you can choose to be the source of anyone's reality. So all the different forms of judgment that we ever function from or ever created, or everywhere where we, were, where we were multiplying judgment. So let's destroy and uncreate, eliminate and eradicate it for all eternity. You can also like be present with all different forms of the energy of judgment, the different layers of judgment, different vibrations of judgment, the different elements of judgment, all the different versions of judgments, all the different aspects of judgment. Bring up to the surface all the different forms that you ever did or you went through and allow yourself now to destroy and uncreate all of that for all eternity. You know, allow yourself to connect to all the different forms of judgment in your life. Maybe all previous lifetimes and all other dimensions where you ever been part of being judgmental or being judged. And let's destroy and uncreate and eliminate and eradicate all of these dynamics, all the thought patterns that would make you judgmental. And on the other side, where have we decided that judgment is sort of like hurting us? Like where, when did we buy into that anything has to hurt us? Like who is allowing anything to hurt you? Who could be that powerful that would allow judgment to hurt you? And it's only you, me, you, and everyone else. We are the ones who are making it significant and letting us sort of like suffer from other people's judgment. Even we make ourselves wrong that, oh, we are so judgmental. We are judging ourselves and judging others. And we suffer from other people's judgment. So everywhere where you gave up who you are, you gave up your capacities, you gave up your power, you gave up your presence, you gave up your capacity to recognize whenever there is judgment in your reality or anyone is projecting judgments on you. you just allow yourself to be fully present with all the different forms of judgment in your reality. And now you can you know, just destroy and uncreate all that. What if you don't have to let judgment to hurt you ever again? What if judgment can be really part of this reality and it's not a problem? Like whether we clear it or let it be, So everywhere where we started to fight against judgment on the planet and started to fight against each other, against all those people who were judging us or who we were judging to help them to see who they are and what they are doing, let's destroy and create all that too. And just allow your whole body as well to start to get fully restructured like if there was no judgment ever projected on you and on your body. Like what would your body do and how would your body look like and be like if all the judgment implanted into your body was finally and totally cleared? Or everywhere where we made judgment significant, this significance, this polarity was cleared for all eternity. Like everywhere where you judge how you look like, 
how tall you are, how short you are, your skin, your body, anything about you, anything about your actions, your past actions, everywhere where you judge your future, will you now destroy and uncreate all that? All the fears attached to that, all the doubt attached to that, will you now destroy and uncreate all that? And who could you be now? And what could you create now? Like how much could your body change and how much could your whole reality change? How much could your whole universe change? All the different dimensions where you are being present or ever being present or active in any different ways. Like all the hidden dynamics and all the belief systems that you are functioning from. How much change could show up in your whole world if you would let go all the need, the necessity, and the significance about judgments? And just allow all that change to go through you, all that change to, to be effective in your whole world and in your body. Like how much could your body change? And everything that brings up, you destroy and uncreate all that. So everywhere where we've been sort of like, we bought into that judgment is part of this reality. And everywhere where we keep trying and fighting against this reality, like everywhere where we simply just judge this reality, where you destroy and uncreate all that for all eternity. And of course, a lot of people could say, but judgment is necessary. We use judgment to see the difference and make others also see the difference. We destroy and uncreate all that. Where have we bought into that others cannot see the difference? Like where have we made ourselves superior to others? Of course, where they made themselves inferior to us. And where have you made yourself inferior to anyone? So everywhere where we started to make ourselves inferior or superior to others, and we vote into that we are as well inferior or superior to others, let's destroy and uncreate all that too. And what if still you can still recognize what people are doing? But what if it doesn't have to come from polarity, like this is bad, or this is good. What if you can simply just recognize if this is a contribution or not a contribution? And you may say, this is just two different words. But what if there is a totally different energy from the space that you are functioning from when you start to use these words? When it's not significant, when it's not right or wrong, you just recognize, oh, this is a contribution. Or no, this is not a contribution. But there are no emotions attached, no polarity behind it. You just simply recognize it doesn't make you emotional. It doesn't, you know, makes your whole world upside down. You just, you just stay who you are. And you still have the capacity to create something greater. You don't have to contract yourself. You don't have to fight against anything. You are just fully present. And everywhere where we decided that if I were fully present, my life would be very boring. <laughs> because there were no excitement. Yes, you still have excitement. You still have joy. You still have fun. It doesn't have to be sourced from judgment. Like how much more fun you could have if there were no judgment? Like if we haven't made it significant, as significant we do usually. So everywhere where we function from the significance of the situations in our life, let's destroy and uncreate all that. Everywhere where we function from lacking anything in our life, as this trend on create all that. 
Like how much should we judge ourselves as infinite beings to get to the point that, oh my God, I don't have this or I don't have that. And I need that in order to have my life, in order to have what I desire to have. Every very, very function from necessity or lack. That's this turn on, create and return back to the source. So if you are present with your body and if any bodily sensation comes to the surface, you can place your hands on that part of the body and allow yourself to sort of like unlock everything that you locked into your body, everything that is stopping your body, everything that is sort of like killing your body, everything that makes your body less or everywhere where it makes your body more contracted, Let's unlock all of that and allow yourself to have total ease. Ease, joy, and glory. So who could you be if everything would change right now? If nothing were significant any longer, what could you create now? And how, how would your body change? Actually, anyone has a question, any lines or at any part, and you can uh, unmute yourself or type in your questions. So where have we decided that there is a purpose for judging each other? or there is a purpose to judge ourselves. Or even if uh, there were no judgment, then nothing would have a value. And will you just turn on, create it, and return back to the source? And you can still allow yourself to send contribution to everyone who is judging, and as well everyone who is suffering from judgment. Let's send contribution to all of them with consciousness attached. Of course, uh, don't forget about yourself, so you can send contribution to yourself. Maybe the most should be sent to ourselves. Where have we decided that, oh, we are not judgmental. We don't need contribution. We are already the white angel. So will you just try and create all that? And um, what if everything can change right now? Your whole body, your skin, your hair, your eyesight, your limbs, your organs, your muscles, your bones. Everything in your body can change now. Allow each and every cells and molecules of your body to start changing and transforming and everything that who you are the space that you are functioning from let it change oh but we need judgment in order to be able to project what will happen in the future because we cannot see the future but you destroy and uncreate all that and return back to the sender with consciousness attached. Like what if you have the capacity to see the future, to sense the future, to be aware of the future and to know the future? What if you have the capacity to change it as well, not just see it and know it, but be able to change it? Are you choosing to have the capacity? Are you willing to have a totally different capacity? So are you willing to change the future? Are you willing to create a totally different reality for yourself? And is here the time now? And everywhere you decided you need more, 
more energy, more capacities, more time, will you destroy and create all that? Are you willing to start it now? What magic can show up if you are willing to start everything that you desire to change and create? Like all the things in your life you decided you need to wait for something. It, it depends on something before you could make any action. Will you destroy and create all that? Like everywhere where we procrastinate and unwilling to be that magnificent change that who we truly be, will you destroy and create all that? And what is the magic that we are unwilling to see that who we are? What is that magic we are unwilling to see about our creations in the future? What it will bring up to the surface? What are those new possibilities that you will create? Like everywhere where you are unwilling to be the source of a different future, will you destroy and uncreate all that? being the source for your future. And you may think it's not a big deal because whatever you do, you are the source of your future. Yes, the question is that, like, do you see yourself as a victim of the environment or do you see yourself as someone who can create a space for yourself because you are the source of your future? I see there is a question or a comment. Like, as a fine artist, I judge my creation every day. Good, bad, more, less, better. You suggest I ask instead it, like, for example, more or less of something would be a contribution. So, it's like, okay, one part of that, whatever you create, and let's say this is your profession to create fine art. And the question of that, will it be a contribution or will people pay money for that? Or if I create this, how much money are they willing to pay for that? Like, how can I find a person who will judge this, that it's worth a certain amount? Or what would it take for create something that people would judge it as valuable? It would have a value or a price of how much you would like to earn for that. What can I create? You know, it's not right or wrong or good or bad or... But functioning from what you would like to create. Maybe everyone heard about this, that there is this thing of connection points and creation points. And when we try to sort of like uh, make everyone happy, like, you know, what is important is the relationship, the relationship to the friends, to the family, a relationship with your clients, with the possible clients, with your boss. So what it creates, that these are the connection points. We try to connect with people and maintain a certain type of connection, a way of relating to people and make sure they will relate to us in exchange in a certain way. How much energy does it take from you on a daily basis when we try to function from connection points? You know, trying to meet everyone's expectations. And what if you don't have to meet anyone's expectation? Just be, let's say, pragmatic with this. Pragmatic in a sense of what would you like to create? Like how much money would you like to create? So are you still in functioning from a connection point? Or you're functioning from a creation point? You know, seeing what would you like to create 
of course, we could say that, oh, I would like to create good relationship with everyone. That's my creation, to have good relationship. But the big question is, if we would like to create a good relationship with everyone, is that sort of like our primary choice or it's, it's sort of like a tool to get somewhere? So what would it take to not mix up what is a primary choice and what can be a tool? Because anything can be a tool, so don't make it primary. What would create greater for us? What would create greater for you in your profession? And what would you like to create through your profession? Like what if what you would like to create doesn't have to really matter or it doesn't like the re relationship to other people doesn't have to be significant so what would it take for everyone to see the difference between connection points and creation points so in that sense connection point is something like you know like linear on on this level like to the left and to the right you have so many connections with so many people and as far as we function from that, it sort of like takes you apart, makes you fall apart. Your focus, your intention, your presence is falling apart. But instead, we could choose to have a creation point, like what we would like to create. Suddenly, connection points, like 99% of the connection points are not that significant, and you will see which are those connections where you would create a change and that would help you, that would contribute to you what you are choosing to create. In another word, um, for example, you know, when they say like, what is the judgment that you need to create in people's reality? that would contribute to you. For example, you know, you can get dressed as a wealthy person and what judgment it will create if you go to a, to a group of wealthy people. So this is something that you could use it as a tool. So from that moment, even create, like, it may look like we try to function from connection point, but in that sense, connection is only a tool. So just allow yourself to start to function from what you would like to create in the future. What is it that you desire to create today, create tomorrow, create next week? And in that case, should you really judge yourself or judge your phenomenal work, the fine arts that you create? So is that truly judgment or you can see it as, as a tool towards what you are desiring to create? So when we are functioning from, let's say, contribution or creation, then we don't have, like, we, we go beyond that sort of, like, polarity. Suddenly, it's not polarity, but you start to create your life. As long as we are in polarity, it's sort of, like, making us fall apart. As an infinite being, what's the value of uh, making yourself right or wrong? So when we start to see everything as, as a contribution, it starts to sort of like lift you up. It starts to contribute to your body, to your whole world, to your future, to anything that you desire to create. So let's be nice to yourself, look into the future, and what would you like to create as your future? And suddenly you are not in judgment, but you are present 
with the energy of your creation. And you can let yourself step into that energy, allowing to change you. Because in that sense, who you are, what have you decided about who you should be? What if you can change yourself because you are, in that sense, how you show up in this world, in that sense, it's just a tool. So would you allow yourself to keep changing? What would you like to create and how you should change for yourself for that to be created with total ease? All right, any further questions we have today? Like, did you ever try to um, bring up the energy of your choice and then step into that? Allow that energy to start to transform who you are and how you see the world. Of course, it it's so frightening to allow ourselves to be changed. But what have we decided about who we are? As an infinite being, you can be anything and you can act like anyone. So, because as you show up and what you do, again, it's just a tool to the future that you desire to create. But on the other side, we make it so significant what we do and how we do and how people see us. So everywhere you made yourself significant and your actions you made significant for you destroy and uncreate all that. And what if you can create a totally different space from the energy of your choice? Cool. So... If there are no more questions, I'm so grateful for all of you for joining us. And uh, actually you can let yourself being present with the whole universe, even after this call, anytime. You can let yourself to function as an infinite being anytime or nonstop. And you can let yourself to have access to all the information, all the energy, all the consciousness, all the capacities continuously. Just don't forget, just keep it in mind that you have all these capacities, no matter what. And what can it change for you? If you keep having it in your mind that you are capable, you have power, you have all the skills, and you can change your whole world. What will it change in your reality and in your future? Cool. So thank you so much and thank you for all the amazing translators for joining us today and making it happen again. And uh, wish everyone to have an amazing uh, week or weekend and evening. Thank you so much and keep creating your life. Let's mask. Voila. Thank you. Voila. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.